Hey guys, today we're working on a the engine for our 289 Mustang, um, the 66. We've got a couple here. The one on the right, this one guy right here, is the one that comes with the kit. Uh, you can see that transmission is a little stubby. They uh, have the tail shaft is in the car already. It's molded in the, the chassis with the uh, drive shaft and rear end. Um, this is the front cover for that engine, the timing cover. Um, it is a mess. It's just a mess, guys. It, it, nothing fits on this engine. I would imagine this car, you know, the molds for this thing is pretty old. Now they've refreshed, they've freshened it up. They had to have because the body and the interior look really good. The engine is not so good. Um, I had a lot of work just to get this junk to fit this good you can see there's a big old gap on that left side there underneath that cylinder head it fits in one place and not in the other and you try to get it straight taking a little material off the block and a little off the head to get it to, to a set uh, even but then you don't want to drop get it too low that you know, bring the deck heights down because your exhaust will end up fitting goofy uh, and then I've also run a a file underneath it and just trying to get it to to fit half decent uh, I had much too much time in into it. Uh, it it just isn't gonna work the oil filter detail on there in scale that's rather small it looks like the little air, oh, oil filter on my Kohler twin uh, on the, the uh, garden tractor so the, back to the front cover, the timing cover, we've got that slot in there. Um, move over to the directions to show you better. There's the front cover, there's the slot. Well, there's the oil fill tube that's supposed to go into the front cover, drain oil into the engine there. Uh, but then this comes down, drops down where the slot would be and comes out, boop, right here. That is the uh, fuel filter. Well, isn't that special? They just made it all one piece. Now, if you put paint that blue and you get your accessories on the front of it, and that you're never going to know. Um, but I'm seeing it right now. <laughs> uh, that is just uh, cheesy. So that, this engine's just not going to work. So we come to engine number two. This is a 289 out of the AMT Surf Woody. Uh, it is a nice well well i don't want to say well it's it's a decent uh detailed 289. went ahead and put it together primered it and then i cut the tail shaft off of its transmission so that it will fit in the mustang we'll go ahead and paint the tail shaft detail under the car the same as the transmission uh when we get that far but the 289 i i uh head and primer I painted it this blue which is not correct it's a uh, much too dark I mixed it I didn't have Ford blue so I mixed it up this is a uh, too dark uh, but it'll be okay for this for this project um, the engine <clears throat> engine transmission and front timing cover and fuel pump and that up there that's all surf woody the cylinder heads so the long block, the transmission, the front cover. The accessories, the tin work, the oil pan, valve covers, intake manifold, air filter, carburetor, that is all from the Mustang. Um, now in our car, what we're going to look for is a A-code 200 horse 289. Um, so we don't want the Cobra valve covers and the uh, oil filter, or oil, filter, oil pan. We want it all stock. Uh, so we've got our stock uh, tin work on it. Uh, then we come to the air filter. The only thing they give us with the kit is this chrome air filter. And I've already taken the side detail off all the way around the side. But I imagine they had these slats on it to look like a, an open element, like a, an air filter, an open element air filter. Um, we go to the instruction sheet. You can see the, the rendering. It's got them slots in it. Well, they took all those off, sanded them off. We'll knock the chrome off the top. 
And when we do that, then we can use this air cleaner and take the snout off of it, uh, cut it to size and put it on there, chrome one, and paint it blue. We'll have a, a decent looking a facsimile of, of a stock air cleaner. Um, I would just use this one from a 78 uh, Ford truck AMT, uh, but it's physically the body is just big. It looks stupid. Uh, it's actually for an FE motor, and that truck was probably a 460 engine that's in that, that model. So we'll get the air cleaner uh, painted up. The exhaust from the Mustang should work. It looks pretty good. Um, the accessories will all work. And then we'll have an automatic transmission in it. That would be the only difference. Uh, this car will have an automatic. But other than that, that's what we're going to do engine-wise. Uh, the distributor from the Mustang, back when they give us, is some kind of goofy-looking blob with no... Uh, real detail on it at all so we go back over to surf woody parts and there's a distributor there with decent detail on it we will use that one yeah, if you really wanted to get uh, hot rodish with the thing the surf woody has two packs and superchargers that go on the front not off the uh, belt drive we could put those on here <laughs> make a super sleeper out of it so that's going to be engine. Next is uh, probably going to be body work. So stay tuned, guys. All right, we'll just show you the engine sitting in the car. Um, this engine set a little too high in the Mustang, so we had to take a little bit off the, uh, that fuel filter piece at the bottom of the uh, fuel pump. We took a little bit off the cross member in the Mustang so it would sit it sits on this cross member so it'll sit a little bit lower and then the body does need a shim because the body actually sits too low it uh, wants to sit down on the it's riding up where it should be just sitting here when you start messing around it, it wants to sit down on the fenders so that'll need a little shim work on it there to get it to fit right that's another thing I was saying where these uh, cars don't, you know, the molds, they don't fit right. Uh, years ago, I think the first time I built this one was in 79. Uh, I remember these cars going together. And you could slap them together like a promo and run it around. Uh, not so much. This is, uh, it's problems going together. Uh, but the, uh, it's in, it's sitting where it needs to be. The air cleaner, we've got it painted. Uh, put that snout on from the other air filter and, and shortened it up. Got the accessories on the front. Uh, the distributor, I ended up using that goofy one from the Mustang because it's short. Uh, the, the one from the Surf Woody is just too tall. Uh, we'll, the motor's just set in there, so we'll put the exhaust in. Uh, while the uh, body and chassis are apart, we'll put that exhaust in. Uh, there's the pieces. I did not paint the tubes on it because once we get them down in there, uh, since the engine has changed position in the chassis, I may have to move these the pipes around to get it to meet uh, the chassis where they're supposed to go. So they may need to be uh, shortened or bent a little bit. Uh, we'll have to see when we get them in there. Then we can finish. Um, painting and, and put them on the engine. Uh, have to come up with some kind of an oil filter. It's got its fan alternator. It's got a starter on the other side. So it's it's pretty much together. Um, and now we see it's in where it's going to go. We'll uh, move on the bodywork. All right. To close out the video, we'll take a look at the shop truck real quick. I just started working on it. We're about 20 minutes in tonight. Uh, just cleaning up the body and the chassis, getting rid of the, um, the junk on the chassis, the, the spare tire carrier, uh, the exhaust hanger, uh, some of the, the uh, tabs in there to remove when you, when you get it off the 
you know, off the trees, that uh, stuff that's molded in that needs to go. We've got uh, a little, I did a little uh, measuring on the bedside. You can see my math there. I found center of the bedside. I'm, um, I wanted to see what, uh, oh, playing around with letter size for, for lettering the bed. Uh, put the deep junk garage lettering on it. That's not set in stone, the color's not, the wheels aren't. I'm just starting to play with the thing. I know what I want it to sit. Um, not so low that it's useless on the street. Not so low that it has to be uh, frame notched. Uh, and it wouldn't be bagged either. There'd be a static ride, you know. Uh, but just a, a cool old Chevy truck with some performance features, you know, lots of horsepower. So underneath, we started working uh, these frame rails here. We got, like I said, we got rid of the spare tire carrier. There was exhaust uh, bracket that uh, came off. Uh, cleaned up the the front, the bumper brackets up front there. So just going through to clean it and smooth it out, uh, so we can get it mopped up. Get the rear end under it that has those long truck arms of springs, coil springs, and then we've got control arms up front. Let's see what we can do, um, how we can lower it, and how much we can lower it with the stock stuff. Um, I think that's about it this time, guys. Just getting started, uh, playing around, going to build, like I said uh, in our uh, video for, for the Zippy. Um, I build from the ground up and this is what we'll do here alrighty guys thank you very much for stopping and watching I appreciate it um, we'll see you next time